about giving in to Ned's threats, are you? We know Ned. And we know Ned is quite capable of carrying through with this. He'd like nothing better than unseating A.J. That's presuming he can do it. Listen, I am presuming that with the stress A.J. is under with Carly right now, he's distracted. If he loses that job along with her, who knows what could happen to him? We can do something to help. It's easy for you to say. I'm the one who has to marry Gertrude. I told, I told you not to... Opposed to cuddling up with Gertrude. What if, God forbid, she learns to appreciate me and respect me? What am I going to do, Monica? How will I ever get used to that when, <laughs> over the course of the years, you have taught me that true love is nothing but your endless abuse? <laughs> I just tell you the truth. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't begin to puff you up with useless flattery. Besides, my darling, you know that every time Gertrude looks at you, all she sees is money. Oh, thank you very much. Well, you know what I mean. I'll tell you what. If I do marry Gertrude, I'm signing everything over to you. Oh! Oh, don't be <laughs> too happy because it all reverts back to me if we're not remarried in six months. Well, I have no intention of being divorced for six months. Besides, the way Gertrude is mooning all over you, I wouldn't be surprised if you were in the altar within weeks. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Monica. My romantic technique's a little bit rusty. You are incredibly charming. You really think so? You also could use a little coaching. Oh, really? Did you have a particular mm -hmm. coach in mind? Well, as a heart surgeon, I think I would do. So, um, try out your technique. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Father and Carly, you ready? Not yet. What was that for? <laughs> Last night. You know, I'm really starting to have second thoughts about Ned's scheme. Oh, listen, we only have to be apart long enough for you to slip the ring on Gertrude's finger, <sighs> and Ned will leave AJ to run ELQ, and then... And suddenly realize that we've made a terrible mistake. Right. And after last night, you don't have to worry about a thing. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. So, are you ready? Okay. One, two, two three. three. Oh, come on, Monica. Just admit it. You don't want That's him to come back as chief of staff. I said. Oh, I didn't of mean course that. it is. Exactly. Well, if you didn't mean it, Monica, then let us go to the board and make an announcement next week. No. What is the problem? Well, she's on such a power trip. First, she tells me she wants me to come back to Chief of Staff, and now you don't Look, want me to come I back. I am busy. I don't just push pencils around a desk. I actually perform heart surgery like a real doctor. Thank you very much. Oh, don't be so sensitive. Oh, oh she was talking it, will you, Father? Well, Look, don't there were months and you're months. You're in each other's throat. Excuse me, will seat. you be quiet? Why do you yeah, fight each other all the time? You told me, come back, Alan. Come back, No, 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 no. And then you said, well, you know what? What would hurt you? Be quiet. It is freezing out there. Might not be so bad if you weren't so cold blooded. The only thing cold in this house is our bed. Could we please have a civilized breakfast? No. no. You know what? The air's a little bit thick in here for some reason this morning. I'm gonna go visit my mother. You can ride in with me. You know, it's a sad day when a man finds the office more pleasant surroundings than his own den. It's not your den. Oh, here we go. Now look. You get this all settled before we sit down to dinner tonight because I don't want Lila to be upset by your latest war games. They bought it. Well, apparently we're pretty good at this. Well, we've had a lot of practice. Yes. But listen, that crack about me not being a real doctor, that was oh, low. Oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean that. It's just part of the act. Glad to hear it. Well, now we've only got one thing left to do. Call Ned. We have a divorce to plan. Mm. Mm. Be meeting with you and Chloe. Well, Alexis is our attorney. She's been brought up to speed on what we're doing. I just asked her to sit in and to offer any insight on the divorce proceedings, assuming that's what you decided to do. 
Yes, as long as you keep your hands off the LQ and stay away from AJ, we're ready. You have to be very convincing. You have to really make it look like you're getting a divorce. I've never seen that as a problem. As we discussed, Emily has to know. I agree. Before it goes any further. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to explain it to her? No, I think we can handle that. So, once this is accomplished, where do we go from here? You start laying the groundwork for seducing Gertrude. Otherwise, Gertrude will suspect something. You have to be charming, sincere. Sexy. You need to be sexy. And, and then you need to make Gertrude feel sexy. Chloe and Alexis are willing to take you out on a trial date. I think that's a good idea. Well, excuse, um, excuse me, but I've been married to this man off and on for quite a few years. And believe me, he doesn't need any trial dates or lessons on how to be sexy. And if there are any trial dates... I will be doing them with this woman. Do you understand? 